Okay, so we're going to look at accidents with yaw marks. So remember, yaw marks are the curved skid marks. Okay, so these are the curved skid marks. And the formula that we would use for that is S equals the square root of 15 times F times R. So S still represents minimum speed. F is still the drag factor. The difference is now we're looking at an R, which is the radius of the arc of the yaw mark. Okay, so we're going to look at how to figure that out. So identifying the radius of yaw marks. Before we get into the problems, the, the first thing I want to go over is how do we find that out? So what you would do is there are a few steps. The first step would be select two points on the outer rim of the arc and connect them with the chord C. So looking at this, this outline right here in black, this is the skid mark. or we would say the yaw, the yaw skid mark, okay? And you're going to connect them with a chord C. So this isn't going through the center of a circle. It's a chord that connects one side of a circle to the other side. The second step would be locate the center of the chord, which would be this spot right here. That's the center. And then draw a perpendicular line M segment from that center to the arc. Use the following formula to determine the radius. Okay, you're going to use R equals C squared divided by AM plus M divided by 2. So R is going to be your radius. C is going to be the length of the chord and M is going to be the length of the middle ordinate. So this would be the perp M is the perpendicular line that connects the chord to the edge. Okay, so let's look at this in an example. Okay, so an accident reconstructionist took measurements from yaw marks left at a scene using a 43 foot length of cord, she determined that the middle ordinate measured approximately 4 feet. The drag factor was determined to be 0.8. Determine the radius of the curved yaw mark to the nearest tenth of a foot. So what I would do with something like this is I would draw it out. Okay and put the information they gave us. So the information they gave us is that the chord length, which is the red line, is 43. The middle ordinate, that's the perpendicular line in the middle that connects, is about 4 feet. And we know the drag factor is 8. So we would take our formula and we would plug in what we know. So we don't need the drag factor yet. We need that for the formula to to figure out the speed. But what we do need is we need our chord length and we need our middle ordinate. So we would plug those two values in for C and M, solve, and we would have a radius of about 59.8. So we have the radius now and then we need the drag factor of 0.8. So the drag factor is 0.8, the radius is 59.8. Take our speed formula and plug it in and we end up with 26.8. So the car entered the skid with an approximate minimum speed of 26.8 miles per hour. And that should have an I in there. All right.